On the other side of this door is a very scary place, and I want to show it to you. This is my pantry slash coat closet. As you can see here, this is a set of shelves that I have my food on, my canned goods, and you know, boxes of whatever, cake mixes. I don't have a lot of room in this apartment, I've said before. My kitchen is very small, so we put a shelf here in the pantry, and the, this goes closet and uh, decided to try to do the best we could as you can see there's a shelf above this on the left hand side and, and we have all kinds of stuff in here as you can see nothing is really organized it's just thrown up there down below it are my coats and there are quite a few of them as you can see and underneath the coats I do have a plastic I don't know if you can see it or not but a plastic storage bin it's got three drawers it's great it really does help a lot and I keep plastics and things and like that in there they're really not too bad on this back wall as you can see we have our ironing board and we did put a little fixture up for that so that helps a lot and over on the right here is a shelf above another rod that my husband has his coats on and he doesn't have very much space, but oh well. I have more coats than him. On this shelf are Dutch ovens. There's Dutch ovens there. There's different kinds of things. Um, organized the best I can, I guess. And if you go down, 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 under the floor, you will see underneath the coats a box that I have a lot of, like, baking tins, uh, bump pans, things like that. So if we go over this way, there is my vacuum cleaner. So anyways, this coat closet is very, very small and it's very unorganized. So my plan is to get it all together and organize it so it looks pretty decent and I can find things. And to purge, I need to get rid of a lot of stuff because I have that pack rat in me, like I think many of you do. So anyways, this may take me a while to do this, but I'm going to start on it, and we'll see what happens. So see you next time. Okay, this is where I began. This is the shelf. It's a set of four shelves that I had all my food on. I'm going to walk by him here. As you can see, this hallway is very narrow. It's only like maybe four feet wide. I don't even know if it's that much. So it's kind of a kind of hard to get by here. Okay, I'm going to show you all these baskets. These two are just clothes baskets that I put all my food in just to get it out of that corner. And I'm moving down. And here I'm finishing. There are two boxes and that has the end of the food in there. Now I'm going to walk over to the closet and show you where I got this from. Here's my closet. As you can see, it's still really, really messy. But over here in this left corner is where that shelf was. Okay, right there. That's where I had all that food. Can you believe it? Okay, this is my first step in cleaning out this closet. Everything else, as you can see, is still here and I think it's gonna be a real big job to do this but I'll be glad when I get it done this is the top shelf I'm showing you right now well, there are all kinds of stuff crammed in there there's my ironing board there's my shelf on the other side which in the end that shelving unit with all the food is going to be right here where these coats are the coats are going to be transferred to the other side of the room where the shelf was this closet is so crammed full of stuff, I can't believe it. There, we're going to end up with my vacuum cleaner again. There it is. This closet is so small, but I think I can do it. So, I'm going to stop now and get busy on those shelves. See you next time. Here we are, back to the pantry, the closet. And I'm going to show you what I did. The shelves are still here. We decided to just go with shelves in this corner, as you can see. It works. 
And I've kind of divided them up. The snacks are on this top with the bins and underneath it is some baking things. And down below it, I have other things that I kind of um, put on there and organized. It, it works. On this top shelf, and you remember how messy it was, I've uh, kept my irons right there. And there's a flash of things that I need um, pretty often. I put right there. Right there I have my basket. And I have like hats and mittens and things in there and that works too and over there in the hat box I have more hats I have a lot of hats and mittens um, and in the corner I have my fabric bags that I use at the grocery store and so that's a good place because I put them all inside of that red bag and it's all in one place so that works good um, I've got my ironing board still here that's going to stay and down below you're going to see the vacuum cleaner I don't like it in here, but this is where I have to keep it because I don't have a whole lot of room. So that's where that is. I still have coats over here on this side next to the shelf, as you can see. And we're going to go around the small, small room. And there is another set of shelves. Now before, if you remember, there were coats hanging there. And then there was a box underneath with different things in there, baking, you know, pans and stuff. Well, we put another shelf over in this corner, took those co um, coats out of there and put it in my husband's closet. So that's this shelf and I've organized that with canned goods on top and, you know, just going down um, the way it, it works for me. Things in boxes and just, it just works. We all have to do it the best way that we can do it and that works good for me. Okay. There is this shelf above the set of shelves, and I have my Dutch oven and my roaster and just some extra um, styrofoam plates and things like that up there. Inside that, actually what that is is a dish pan. I have a, a fancy glass cake plate in there, so it's protected in there, so that's a good place for it. But right here, you can see this bag holder. I'm going to try to show you the whole thing. I got this at Ikea a couple of years ago and just never mounted it and it works really really well for the, those bags that you get at the grocery store. Um, it works really really good so it might work some, like really well for somebody else too. So I recommend going to Ikea or other places. They have other places where you can buy that. And then on the back of my door I have a hook and I use aprons when I cook because I'm really messy. So there it is right there and I got three or four aprons hanging there as you can see and that's about it um, I just wanted to show you this last last uh, part of my film here and um, I think it just looks really really good and it works and I feel happy with it I don't feel like when I walk into this room that I can't find anything now I can actually find something and that's an accomplishment so there you go thanks